In your health news tonight, is 50 the new 30? Those, are, those in their 50s are the most likely age group to have some sort of cosmetic surgery every year with millions performed last year alone. So what are the most common aging concerns and what are the treatment options? Joining me now to talk more about this is Dr. William Groff. So I guess, first of all, what are the most common concerns for this age group? Well, in the 50-year uh, age range, most patients are concerned about wrinkles and loss of skin elasticity or, or loose skin. So, uh, you know, there's been multiple attempts uh, in the past few years to find a device that will actually predictably tighten the skin. And, and finally, I think we have something that to be really excited about, a great new technology. It's called uh, Thermi Tight or Thermi Lift. And it's uh, minimally invasive, which means it's non-surgical. So patients can go right back to work and uh, it, it's pretty amazing stuff. So I guess, tell me a little bit more about the non-invasive procedure. If you're talking about someone who is worried about loose skin or wrinkles on their face, what does it do? What it does, actually I have a probe here I brought which you can take a look at. Um, it's, a, it's about, it's actually smaller than the size of a piece of spaghetti. Wow. And you can see at the tip here, there's a, a little metal piece and at that piece there, the heat is generated. So I can adjust the temperature of this probe and at certain temperatures, the skin will tighten or contract, and at a little bit higher temperature, it will actually melt fat. So we, what we do is we numb up the uh, skin uh, in the neck area, for example, and we can pass this probe underneath the skin. So it actually will go underneath the skin, and it's painless because the area is numbed up, and then I can deliver heat all through that area say underneath the chin, the jowl area, and I can get um, instant tissue contraction and tightening, and I can also melt fat. So it's amazing, it really tightens up the neck well. Now is there any downtime with that? I mean, I know it's not invasive, but that right. looks a little scary. Well, it's not, it, don't be scared. <laughs> it's actually, it's perfectly safe. But uh, what does happen is afterwards there can be some swelling, but when you compare a procedure where you can be awake and drive yourself home to say a face or neck lift where there's significant downtime, there's risk of scarring, uh, there can be all kinds of problems with bleeding, infection, so forth. This is a really fantastic device and uh, really yields some uh, really nice results. You know, in the age group we're talking about 40 to 50, or actually we started with 30 to 50, which is crazy. It's right. not just women though, men are also getting in on this. Oh yeah, well, you know, San Diego in particular, it's amazing. You walk around and everyone looks great. I mean, everyone's <laughs> fit, they work out, out, their skin looks good. I mean, every, people in San Diego really tend to take care of themselves. So, and we all, you know, we feel much younger than we look a lot of times. So, why not do these little things that are, you know, with, that are minimally invasive or non-invasive that we can look uh, as great as we feel, you know? Well, why would someone go for, um, from non-invasive to then a real surgical procedure? What, what are the differences? Well, certainly there are some cases where uh, surgery is the best option if there's significant loss of elasticity or significant uh, tissues really hanging down. I mean, there's only so much that these minimally invasive devices can do. Then surgery would be a better option. Okay, and finally, so when we're talking about the uh, the thermo lift again. Right. Is that what? What's the typical time frame for a procedure? Actually, once we get the area completely numb, so it makes it a painless procedure. It only takes about maybe 45 minutes to do the uh, the neck and jowl area. Interesting. So not bad. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> the fountain of youth. Thanks yeah. so much, Dr. Groff. Appreciate welcome. it. All right.